Hello, my name is Markus Klein from Zuragos and today I'm going to show you our imaging tool Edicus TF Map 2525. It's dedicated for sheet resistance and layer sickness imaging of, uh, in this case, wafers, uh, but we also measure uh, coated glass, coated foils, anything which you can uh, apply with this productive coating. So here we have the measurement field. In the measurement field, please uh, move a little bit in. Um, I show you that is our our measurement setup. So here we have uh, two pins on the outside that we use to apply our wafer. And here I just take a, a eight inch wafer, which I just move to against the the pins, and I can have a very precise positioning on top of these uh, parts. Here we have the little notch on the bottom, so I try to uh, rotate the notch to these uh, alignment uh, lines. And now the wafer sits on the measurement tool. I can nicely fetch it with a scissor and I can start the measurement. I set up the, the wafer, uh, I set up the, the measurement, so the operator name is MK. MK, uh, I bet wafer, I call this wafer three, and then I basically just press start measurement. When I press start measurement, the tool is uh, moving to the center of the wafer. It's taking initial measurement that it knows roughly the expected uh, uh, measurement value. In this case, we measure 3.33 ohm per square and then it starts moving to the upper right section and it takes a line by line. In this case we take 1600 measurements, it roughly takes uh, uh, a few minutes, uh, two to three minutes, and we take 40 lines with each 40 measurement points. Yeah? So we just need to wait a little until this has been finished and once this has been finished so now it creates when now it creates line by line. So you see already here you can already analyze the values. This one is not edge effect corrected yet. It will edge effect corrected by the end of the scan. And since I have already done this, we can jump to so-called wafer one. So it's the same wafer. And we can analyze the homogeneity of the wafer. So here we see the homogeneity is very, very good. So it's between 3.3 .3 and 3.4 uh, ohm per square. But there are also some areas that have a, a higher variation. So we have a green section here, which is roughly about 3.5. And we have another section down here. And typically there are two ways to analyze. One is analyzing by line scans. So we can just press on the arrow marks here or pull any line we want, or we go into the histogram where we just can select a certain area. This is now 3.33 up to 3.41. So you see a more sharp image of these uh, uh, um, uh, focused um, variation in the histogram. Yeah, so you can still analyze the line scans that you like. So in the end, it's very precise. Yeah, and we, are, we can still go to the current scan, so this is just all happening. So we are halfway through and it's uh, still moving. So we just look at the tool again. So it's still measuring, so we are nearly at the end. And in the software it adds line by line, as you can see. Very important for uh, these kind of tools is the repeated measurement. So what, I have, what we have done here before is we have rotated the very same wafer by 90 degree and you see that it is the same values yeah so if you just turn on the grid i select uh, the center from here to here so and i try to take the same line here and then we can compare the lines turn on the grid to find the right position here to here oh now the scan is done but let's finish 
let's finish the analysis. So the wafer comes already out. So it's out now, but let's finish the comparison first. So I take the center line profile on these lines. And now I have here a minimum of 3.344 and a maximum of 3.471 and an average of 3.4. And this is the same line rotated. Uh, I need to activate it again. So, yeah, so we have 3.35, maximum 3.49, and the average 3.42. So if I compare this, so the average here is 3.41, the other average was 3.42. So it's really all those values really align so after rotation. And this is very important if you have a tool. So repeatability is one, that, but having everything right after rotation is a good test to emphasize that everything is correct. And now we can go even in the, in the third measurement. And now we have rotated it again by 90 degrees, so it's the same wafer. And we could apply this this test again. Yeah, so now it's opposite than the initial measurement as you can see here. And I can just finish the same test. So now I need to, to have the same line. Let me see how we need to derive it from that area to that area. So I need to go from, from here to here and we look at the values, so the, the profile again looks the same, yeah, and we have the values average 3.4, maximum 3.45, minimum 3.3. So these values are all exactly, or pretty much exactly well below uh, um, 1%, so this is like what we target for. Okay. So that was our little demonstration for today. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, just uh, contact us. Uh, we are looking forward to hear from you. Thanks.